I've discovered along the way that happiness, you, have, you live in two worlds here. Happiness is pleasure and happiness is joy. You know, it can be either one. Pleasure is short-lived, uh, it lasts an hour, lasts a minute, lasts a month. Um, and it uh, peaks and then goes down, it peaks very high. But the next time you want to get that same peak, you have to do it twice as much. You know, it's like drugs, you, know, just, you have to keep doing it because it insulates itself. No matter what it is, whether you're shopping, uh, whether you're uh, you know, engaged in any other kind of pleasure, uh, that all has the same quality about it. On the other hand is joy, and joy is a thing that doesn't go as high as pleasure in terms of your emotional reaction, but it stays with you. Joy uh, is something you can recall. Pleasure you can't. Uh, so the secret is that even though it's not as intense as the pleasure, the joy will last you a lot longer. Um, and people who get the pleasure, they keep saying, well, if I can just get richer and get more cars, you know, I can, I'll never, you'll never relive the moment you got your first car. That's it. That's the highest peak. Yes, you can get three Ferraris and a new uh, uh, Gulfstream jet, and maybe you'll get close. But you have to keep going, and eventually you run out. I mean, you just can't do it. It doesn't work. So if you're trying to sustain that level of peak pleasure, you're doomed. Joy lasts forever. Pleasure is purely self-centered. It's all about your pleasure. It's about you. It's, about, it's a selfish, self-centered emotion that's created by a self-centered motive of greed. Joy is compassion. Joy is giving yourself to somebody else or something else. And it's a kind of thing that is, in its subtlety and lowness, much more powerful than pleasure. If you get hung up on pleasure, you're doomed. If you pursue joy, you will find everlasting happiness.